The federal government has declared Friday, June 12, as public holiday to mark this year's Democracy Day. The Minister of Interior, Ralph Arigbeshala, made the announcement on Monday by a statement issued by the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Interior. While congratulating Nigerians at home and abroad for the entrenchment of democratic rule in the country, Harigbe Shola commended the heroes of democracy for their dogged determination and sacrifice in promoting democracy in the country. He, however, asked the citizens to continue to cherish these selfless efforts and collaborate with President Muhammad Buhari's led administration to ensure the realization of the democratic ideals. Joining us to talk more on the significance of June 12th, and that, that was declared Democracy Day two years ago, is a frontline activist, Dr. Joe Oke Odumaki. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Good morning, my pleasure. It will be 27 years on Friday uh, when the winner of the uh, 1993 presidential election, the late Mashoud Abiola, was denied his mandate. But two years ago, after many years of uh, agitation, President Buhari surprised many by declaring the day a democracy day. Now, my question is, what more uh, will activists be asking for? Well, uh... There are a few things that we will be asking for. Um, the uh, first one is the posthumous recognition of his MKO Abiola as the past president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and we we'll ask that his portrait to be displayed among past presidents and heads of state. Abiola died, the symbol of June 12th for our democratic struggle. So it's our responsibility in ensuring that a judicial commission of inquiry is instituted to unravel how the high treason was carried out in custody. Abiola also, the cardinal objective of his party was farewell to poverty. As we speak, hunger, has aggravated in Nigeria. So we still ask that abolition of hunger and poverty in the country is put in place, whereby the poor and those who fought for the ideas of June 12th struggle will benefit overwhelmingly from this cardinal objective. It does we also ask for the immediate restructuring of Nigeria into a proper federation to doubt the agitation that have engulfed the country following the escalation of the nationality question occasioned by June 12th. Again, we're talking about June 12th, and the best way to entrench democracy and immortalize the symbol of June 12th is for us to always conduct a free, fair, and credible elections. Edo, Odo, Bantura elections will stand as another little test for us in Nigeria. We could also see that June 12 was never challenged because the election was adjudged locally and internationally as free, fair, and peaceful. It is safe to we, assume, uh, ma'am, that the, there are still a lot more to be done when it comes to promoting democracy um, in this country. So I'll just go on to ask, uh, it does appear the day may not enjoy the usual celebration. Uh, we know we usually have lectures, symposium, writ lane, and the likes, no thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. Will this in any way diminish the importance of the day? No, the coronavirus pandemic can never diminish the importance of the day. Because if we remember the sacrifice, the ideas, I'm sure, yes, there might not be any physical gathering like lane of read, lectures, and the rest. But a lot will be done online. And if we remember again that June 12th, was about harmony in the country. 
And we also reflect back on that Muslim Muslim ticket that people overwhelmingly voted in. I'm sure that religion, ethnicity, and other fault lines that have long time turned us apart as a result by June 12. So let's continue. Have we, have we even promoted that understanding today? I'm sure all of us will be left to provide answers to this pertinent question. Okay. So until we promote the spirit of oneness, like June 12 activated and was alone, we cannot say we have fully honored June 12. Yes, it's sad enough that today we have headsmen clashes, killings, kidnapping. Leah is still uh, with the terrorists and several other uh, keyboard girls. So all these are not in the spirit of June 12th. All right. Uh, the, that, 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 that oneness you referred to, uh, many said was seen in that election um, of 1993, are judged to be the freest and the fairest. Um, it was devoid, um, according to temp contemporary history, tribal and religious sentiment. However, that um, has not been the case in recent times. What will you be recommending for us to return to that part as a nation where we have elections that is devoid of sentiment but based on facts and the leadership criteria um, for the candidates? Yes, it's important that we continue to maintain that harmony. The one thing is that we must realize that justice, fairness, and equity remains that ingredient for the sustenance of that harmony. Yes, a country that presented a Muslim Muslim ticket and citizens overwhelmingly voted for a Southwest candidate, MK Abiola, who defeated Tofa in Kano. And through such religion, ethnicity was not in place during that election. So I want us to continue to keep that harmony. And the only way that such things can still remain in place is for us to have a country where justice, fairness, and equity reigns at all times. Do, do you subscribe to a two-party system as one way to further strengthen our democracy? No, I subscribe to multi-party system. And we see that when we have a lot of options, citizens will know who to vote for. Uh, before they arrived at SDP and NRC, we had lots of parties then that later on we refer to it that MK, MK Rabiola and Topa stood for that SDP platform and when we had NRC. So I will believe that we should open the democratic space. Let's be, let's, I mean, let's have parties and let Nigerians choose who to vote for. But the most important thing is that there must be freedom of choice because June 12th was about ballot integrity. If we maintain ballot integrity, I'm sure that Nigerians will vote and they will be happy for any political party they are voted for. They will vote and their vote will always come. Dr. Joel Dumaki, thank you very much for your time with us on the news. My pleasure.